Welcome to TechieJack. In this video, we will learn how to install Active Directory in Windows Server 2025. It is better to understand Active Directory before installing it. And basically, it provides a centralized environment to manage users, computers, groups, OU, etc. Let's move toward the server and see some basic things. Right now, we are on our server where we did the basic settings of IP address, time zone, etc. in our previous video. If you see the tools in a server manager, right now we cannot see any Active Directory related tools such as Active Directory users and computer. And if we see the computer management, we have a users as a local user. You can see there, we have a users as a local users. Usually it means you are using traditional workgroup environment. You can have multiple computer in your office joined in a workgroup network. It is fine if you have three to four computers and you can manage them easily. If you consider this scenario, it is easy to manage these computers as every computer has its own users and their separate password managed locally on the particular computers. An admin can go to the particular computer to reset the password and set permissions. Therefore, this scenario in large environment becomes challenging when it comes to manage users and computers. If you have more than 20 computers, up to 100 or more than 100, it will become difficult for an IT admin to manage them. An IT admin have a lot of work to manage new users, password and permissions. However, this scenario does not provide robust security or control over the office computers. This workgroup environment have huge drawbacks because every computer is an individual identity, have different decentralized users and no security on the devices, which becomes headache for an admin to manage them. Therefore, to reduce this complexity, Active Directory is introduced to centralize the users and resource management, enhance security and streamlined access to the application. With Active Directory, you can have your own domain name system related to your organization. For example, if my company is TechieJack, I can prepare Active Directory Forest by the name of techiejack.com or techiejack.local. By installing AD, the users and computer can be managed from a centralized location without going to the computer and this environment provides you better control and security. Therefore, it also helps you and provide high availability of network shares, printers, internal CRM, etc. to enhance business productivity. Along with this, you have a plenty of other benefits of Active Directory such as group policy where you can restrict the user from doing unwanted activities on a work computer. And if you need more understanding on Active Directory, you can watch my other videos in playlist available both in Hindi and English. I hope you got the overview of Active Directory. Let's try to install it on our server now. We are back to our server. Let me close this and we have a server manager dashboard here. If you see the local server, you can see the computer name, my DC01, IP address, time zone. All these settings were done in our last video. So let's try to install the Active Directory now. To install the Active Directory, you have to click on this add role and feature. And this wizard will open. Just click on next and select the role based or feature based installation. Click on next. Here we have our server from the server pool. Right now there is a only one server. So the server name is my DC01 IP address. So it is selected. Click on next. And here these are the roles. So we have to select the active directory domain services. Just click on this and it will prompt for include management tools as well. Just click on add features. You can see the DNS is not checked, but if you install active directory domain services, DNS will be automatically installed. Either you check it or you do not check it. I'm not checking it right now. Let's proceed with next. And you can see the group policy management is checked by default. Again, click on next, next again and install it. Installation has been started and it will take a while. So you can see the installation succeeded on my DC01 and configuration required. So let me close this and here you see this yellow exclamation mark. And if I click on this, we have two notification here. One is the required installation succeeded and other is promote this server to a domain controller. We have to promote this server to a domain controller. So let's click on this. Now this wizard will open, add a domain controller in an existing domain 
add a new domain to existing forest or add a new forest so right now it's a first domain controller in our environment so we will do the add a new forest and the root domain name so i will use techijack.local and we'll click on next so now you can see the forest functional level and domain functional level as this is a new forest so we will keep it as a server 2025 and the domain functional level will be also server 2025 and here it is asking the dsrm password it is a directory services restore mode password useful when you have to restore your active directory so let me put the password and click on next now it says for the dns delegation as this is a fresh one so we do not have to do anything here click on next here it will pick the netbios domain name so our netbios domain name is techijack and just click on next here it's asking for the database location like database folder will be inside c windows ntds log folder will be inside this ntds and syswall folder will also inside the c windows just click on next here we have a script this is going to run this script so if you want to view the script you can see the view script copy this script and paste it on a powershell same configuration will be configured but as we are doing it as a fresh deployment let's do it with a graphical way just click on next it will check the prerequisites once it is validated it will ask to install so you can see all prerequisite check passed successfully just click on install so you can see the waiting for DNS installation to finish. That means it is installing DNS service automatically. It may take while to get completed. Now it is installed and you are about to sign out. Let me close this. You can see this server was successfully configured as a domain controller and now restarting it. It is applying computer settings. So here the first screen you will get after installing the active directory. Let me sign in as a domain administrator. You can see sign into techijack. So we are signed in successfully. If you run this command, who am I? Here it shows that you are not a local admin. It says the techijack administrator. So you are logged in with as a domain admin. If we have a look on our server manager, you can see the DNS is there, active directory domain service is there. Earlier it was not present there. So now these role has been perfectly installed on our server. And if you see the tools, now we have these Active Directory tools to manage our Active Directory users and computers, sites and services. Now you can see the different way. The earlier it was something else, but now you can see the user. These are the default users and the computers are there, built-in users are there. So this is how you will see after installing the Active Directory. And this is our domain controller that is MyDC01. Let me close this to make sure that everything is installed perfectly. You can just try to run this command net dome query FSMO and you can see these five roles like schema master, domain naming master, PDC, RID pool manager and infrastructure master. These roles should be there on your domain controller. And I suggest to learn more on these roles because in a large environment, if you have a multiple domains, you can split these roles. Right now, only a one domain controller is there. So all the roles are residing in this server. But if you have a large environment, you can split these roles and you can put the different roles on different domain controller. So our Active Directory has been installed successfully. In our next video, we will try to configure the DNS for our Active Directory environment. I hope the video was useful.